my name is Asad Yaqub and I am your IELTS speaking examiner right so we start the test my first question is are you a student or a professional uh, I'm a student and I'm studying at the moment let's talk about your hometown where do you come from I come from Lahore and Lahore is the capital of Punjab it's a beautiful city what is it like uh, it's a beautiful city actually they call it the city of lights and it's a modern city as well there are many things in this city beautiful markets shopping centers shopping malls and all that so it's a modern city do you like living there I love living here actually because it's my city it's my own city it's my own place and I like every street every road every place of my city and I really love living here because it is uh, my ancestral town as well have you always lived there uh, yes I've always lived there I remember when I was born I, I was born in this city and my parents migrated they migrated from another town but actually I've always lived here uh, when I opened my eyes I was in Lahore and I spent all my childhood here so I've, I've been living here since my birth what is the countryside like near your hometown uh, well I would say my hometown or my city is surrounded by countryside because there is there is India at one side and all the countryside is there as well so countryside is like there are fields beautiful fields lush green fields and then there are some trees and uh, agriculture is the main thing uh, people are related to agriculture they grow different crops and then they harvest them so the countryside is quite beautiful it's quite nice and everywhere you can see the fields you can see the trees and all that stuff now let's talk about learning English how long have you been learning English well I've been learning English for a long long time I remember when I was five years old I started learning English A for Apple B for bat and since that time uh, I've been learning English but now I can speak English I mean I'm quite fluent in English right now do most children learn English in your country exactly English is a compulsory subject in my country and all the children they have to learn English whether they go to any school English medium or Urdu medium they've got to learn English and it's a compulsory subject so all the children they have to learn English in fact this when they start their schooling they start their schooling with A for Apple B for bat so yes all the children they have to learn English what can you remember about your early lessons uh, well early lessons were quite good they were quite nice uh, I've got some uh, blurry ideas about the early lessons how they were like I remember I had very beautiful English books I had very nice books and the teachers they taught me very well they taught me English they taught me English pronunciation they taught me English vocabulary and the other things like that and the lessons were quite interesting and they were quite practical the teachers actually showed objects and then they told us how to call them in English and then we had to practice certain dialogues and sentences and all that so the lessons were quite interesting have you studied any other language which language do you find easier I studied uh, many other languages and uh, I'm a multilingual person as well I studied uh, French Spanish German Italian Persian and Urdu and Punjabi they are my my national languages so I speak them as well which language do you find easier uh, I would say Spanish is an easy language because uh, the way you speak this language you write it and the way you write it you read it so I would say Spanish is quite easy language I mean you can learn to read Spanish if you know English you can learn to read Spanish in just two three days and then you can improve your vocabulary and you can speak the language so I think according to me Spanish is the easiest language to learn and to speak what advice would you give to someone who wants to start learning English uh, I would say if so if anybody wants to learn English I would say well you need to start with spoken English I mean one should speak English as well because in my country most of the people they just read English and they only know English up to grammar up to reading and all that they don't know how to speak English so if anybody would like to learn English I would advise that one should learn the spoken part of the language as well because to me the spoken part is the most important if you know how to speak the language then you can claim that you are proficient in that language in my country there are many educated people but they don't know how to speak English so if anybody wants to learn to speak English I would say spoken English should be the preference uh, now we move on to IELTS speaking part 2 of your uh, IELTS exam 
and I'm going to give you this paper and I'm going to give you this cue card as well. You have one minute to jot down some notes and after one minute you will have to speak on the topic for one to two minutes. Here is the topic and here is the piece of paper. Now please start talking about the topic for one to two minutes. Well, the person who actually influenced me when I was a child, that was my music teacher. He actually taught me how to play harmonium and how to play piano because I was quite quite keen on learning that musical instrument. Uh, well, the person was my music teacher and he was quite friendly the way he taught me and his uh, methodology was quite good and he was such a lovely fellow he was quite friendly person and at the same time he was very gentle i mean uh, his behavior was very nice he was very kind and uh, whenever i asked him about the musical instrument or whenever i asked him any question he replied my question in a very friendly way and uh, i mean i never saw him uh, being angry i never saw him being irritated uh, I, I asked him many questions and at times even i was not performing the notes very well of the music but still his behavior was very good with me okay well our relationship was like the relationship of a student and the teacher I would rather say I was his uh, disciple and he was I was like his pupil and he was my teacher my mentor he guided me very well he taught me very well first he taught me about music what is music and then he taught me how to play mouth organ how to play uh, that harmonium and he taught me different notes of harmonium different keys and the functions of that so he was such a lovely person and we got a very friendly relationship although I respected him a lot but he was like a friend to me uh, well that person influenced me because he had such a beautiful voice I mean I went there to learn how to play a musical instrument and of, of course I was interested in uh, singing as well but my music teacher he had such beautiful voice and I really used to listen to his songs and some of his songs I still remember whenever I listen to the real songs it it just reminds me of him so his voice was brilliant and that is the only thing that influenced me a lot and I still remember his voice I can recall his songs they are as fresh as paint in my mind we now move on to part three of your IELTS speaking test do children nowadays have too many toys electronic games and so on Yes, I think children nowadays they've got so many toys, electronic games, video games and all that because you know uh, because of the proliferation of science and technology everywhere we can see there are the latest toys, latest games, latest gadgets. So nowadays children have got more opportunities and uh, they've got a lot of toys and they've got the modern toys. I remember in my times the toys were very very simple. They used to be a car or bike or things like that but now the toys are quite modern and they're quite sophisticated and children they've got a variety of toys and video games and they utilize them do parents give their children toys instead of paying attention to them yes I think because nowadays parents they are busy even both parents they are working they are doing jobs so they've got no option and instead of giving time to their kids instead of paying attention to their kids parents are giving them toys like for example if they give them a, a video game it's a toy and children they are busy playing games and mother is happy that now my child is busy so instead of paying attention to the children parents prefer to give them the toys because they want their kids to be busy and they want their kids not to bother them that's why they give them the toys is it the responsibility of parents or schools to teach children how to behave well? Well, I think it's both. Uh, first, it's the foremost responsibility of parents to teach children how to behave well because uh, when a child is born, uh, the initial institution of that child is mother, then of course father, and a child goes to school at the age of three or three and a half or sometimes four. So before that child is home, and that is a very crucial time, the first three to four years of a child, uh, they are very, very crucial. So first parents, they should t teach the child how to behave well, and second, Secondly, it is the responsibility of teachers as well. When a child starts going to school, then it's the responsibility of teachers. They should also play their role. So I think initially and foremost, it's the responsibility of parents. And then afterwards, teachers can play a vital role as well. Do children learn better if they have fun at school or if the teachers are strict? 
Well, again, I would say uh, children need both things. They need fun. They need friendly environment. But at the same time, there should be somebody who is strict with them as well. Because children, they've got different moods. Now, for example, if a child is in a mood to play, if a child is in a mood to have fun, but the teacher wants to teach that child something that is something serious. So if the teacher has uh, if the teacher has only one way of teaching and that is the friendly way then sometimes the children will not understand on the other hand if uh, the teacher is strict also I mean teacher should have uh, a, a swing in the behavior sometimes very friendly sometimes strict sometimes serious sometimes teacher should get angry with the children as well so I would say that uh, well it depends actually and the teacher should see if the children are following him then it's okay otherwise teachers should be strict as well because you know all the time it's not fun sometimes you not you need to be serious as well so teachers should have the control over the child do you think attitudes towards bringing up children differ in different parts of the world exactly attitude uh, towards bringing up the children that is different in different countries now for example in my country because I belong to an Eastern country here when we bring up the children we just bring them up with values with religious values with some uh, eth ethical values right these type of things but on the other hand in some other countries they only focus on modern education they focus on modern training they only focus on big schools and modern modern teachings and all that stuff but in my country we focus on religious education as well and the most importantly it's the ethical education what we focus on so I think yes it varies according to the country in Western countries they've got their own uh, preferences and in Eastern countries we've got our own preferences what's about respect for older people does that vary in different countries well I would say yes it varies but still the old people they get their due rights actually they get the due respect which they deserve although it, it may vary I mean in some countries for example in the Western countries uh, when children grow up they stop living with their parents and sometimes they leave their parents in old houses as well and the parents are living in old homes in their old age as well but mainly they've got their values as well and they give respect and they help their parents when they get old but in my country I mean we give a lot of respect our parents are everything when they get old it's a religious obligation as well to take care of them that is the end of your IELTS speaking test may you have a fantastic day thank you very much thanks a lot you too have a lovely day